just arrived in Cannes. We are on the Croisette. Let's go to check the water. Okay, I can cross. Oh, the sea today is very calm, but the water doesn't, doesn't look too clean. We will have to use our eyes a lot to spot some gold on the bottom. But anyway, always good to be on the Cannes Croisette, on the Cannes Palm Beach, because it's really cool. <laughs> Hopefully we can find some treasure here. I'm here with my friend Nora, and today we are going to explore the Cannes Seaside, I mean the Cannes bottom of the sea because we found some really nice platforms where the last time we found some goodies and this time we think that we might find some more. There were two days of very rough sea, probably some gold has been exposed. Let's go out there and check if it's true or not. I just found this is a bunch of hooks and they were just on the surface of the sand if someone stepped on this it would have been a big trouble after finding those hooks we moved to the platforms it was immediately clear that underneath those platforms was full of stuff in fact we started finding many targets But little did we know something incredible was about to happen. In fact, the platforms were scheduled to be removed exactly that day at the same time that we were there. A boat arrived, they cut the chain, they told us to go away because they had to work and drag the platforms away. And that's when I realized that my finds pouch was open. I had lost all the finds of the day and most importantly, I had lost the car keys. I had forgotten the finds pouch open, so all the contents that were inside were scattered on a really big area of the bottom of the sea and I didn't know exactly where the keys were, so I told Nora and we searched really hard for around half an hour until I found them. We would have been totally screwed if we couldn't get in the car. And that's where I learned to never put the keys in the finds pouch, but only hang them on the carabiner. After finding the car keys we were so relieved so we could go back treasure hunting and the people who removed the platforms had left some buoys so we could still find the area of the platforms even without the platforms and it was great.
As probably you can tell from my destroyed face, from my scuba diving face, we just came out of the water. We had some very interesting finds under the platforms. Even if the platforms were not there anymore, we witnessed the removal of the platform. So we had to find the buoys that had been attached to the chains that were holding the platforms. And then we were able to scan the bottom of the sea a bit where the people used to jump off these platforms. And from this beautiful Cannes sunset, I tell you, see you later from the, for the finds. We're back home and these are the finds for today. Very exciting. I found this phone, uh, this very old Nokia phone that looks like a Blackberry. Maybe these one were used in the 2000s and it's been in the water for a long time. Uh, plastic didn't corrode, but all the other uh, circuits inside are completely molten by the sea and by the rust. Then there are these other recent drops, like this earring, stainless steel earring, this pendant that says Virgo. A Virgo pendant, any Virgo who is watching. Of course, unfortunately it's not real gold, it's just a custom one, but it's uh, nice if you are a Virgo. Then I found this horrible looking bundle of hooks that could have been a real problem if someone stepped on it. Luckily I saw it and I took it out. Then there were a few coins, not much to be honest. And this cute costume ring. And there are a few stones. I think that this must have looked very pretty, uh, very nice on the, um, the girl who wore it. And then a few more little pendants, an earring, or from a, from a very thin necklace. It's kind of cool. Also, this is not gold. It's just some um, costume jewelry, but cool. And another uh, piece of jewelry, it's and uh, love best friend but this is only half of the heart the other half <laughs> probably the friend didn't lose it and finally these three pieces that came off the someone's clothes don't forget to go to check nora's finds for the day wear the gold to find the gold and even if you don't look for gold wear the gold so you look cool what are you doing nora 
I'm deep hugging my goggles. Ah, you're smart. You want some? I, I will use my spit as usual. This is spit. Ah, what? <laughs> Really? Yeah. Spit? Did you make it? Yeah, I made it myself. Do you do you make these boxes? <laughs> yeah, you wanna try? <laughs> no, no thanks. Wow. I'll use my I'll make my own. So thanks for watching and see you the next time! <laughs>